from there. Okay, I'm Elaine Ewing and my studio is Rhinebeck Pilates. So I'm in Rhinebeck, New York. It's about an hour and a half from maybe two hour drive from uh, New York City, just a little bit north. Okay, mm -hmm. nice, good stuff. Yeah. How long have you been there for? Well, um, let's see. Well, I grew up here in Rhinebeck and then I went to school in the city where I, that's where I became acquainted with Pilates. And mm -hmm. then I started teaching while I lived there. And then I moved back here. And um, the studio actually existed before it was owned by a different person. So she opened it in 2003. Okay. And then I bought the studio from her in 2007. Okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very cool. And it moved around, um, you know, this is the third, I moved it three, two times. So this is the third spot. Yes. Um, and I have like a couple pieces left from, from originally, but um, I have different equipment now. So it's, it's like morphed, you know, over, over the years, but it's yeah, still yeah. the same name. <laughs> yes. And yeah. I, 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 I love to dive deep on that because I love hearing people's kind of business journey as well because people who are watching may be like an independent contractor somewhere or just an employee and mm -hmm. their gold star may be to have a studio one day. So to see someone who's kind of evolved with it, it's, it's always interesting sure. to hear everyone's different journeys. Yeah. Um, but before we even do that, I'd just love to hear how did you find Pilates? Um, well, I, you know, I graduated from high school in 1997. And I took a year off between high school and college. And during that time, I started taking Pilates mat classes okay. uh, from a teacher who was actually here locally in Rhinebeck at the time. Um, so I got, I got interested in Pilates and I was, I was into running. I still am. I still like to, to run. So that was like my main exercise mm -hmm. uh, and yoga. I was into yoga. Then I went to school in the city um, for arts. I went to the School of Visual Arts. Okay. And there was a Pilates studio like right around the corner from my where I lived. So I started taking classes there. Um, and that's just how I, I started getting into it. I started taking the classes all the time. Nice. Yeah, simple as that. Yeah. So no, no story of like being a professional dancer and getting injured and finding Pilates and it saved your life. It just, mm -hmm. You just found classes and you started going. Yeah, no, I was like, yeah. I'm like the total opposite of a dancer. I have like no moves at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unless I'm on a reformer, put me on a reformer. Then you can move, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't, not at all. Like, I liked it for exercise. I just was like, just, I just liked the way I felt after I did Pilates. So I just kept That's it. fair. Yeah. Yeah. That counts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's like most of my clients, actually. I mean, I don't really have, I don't think I have any dancers who are clients myself. I mean, this isn't really like a dance community. I mean, there's, you know, little theaters and stuff, but it's not like I'm, you know, near a ballet company or anything like that necessarily. Right. So I think yeah. it's pretty typical actually for most people. Of course. Most people. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you have a lot of runners, a lot of like kind of weekend warrior type athletes? Um, not I, a few. Yeah. Mostly the people who come to my studio are um, like retired or uh, older, like maybe between 60 and 85. That's the mm -hmm. typical range um, of my, my clients ages. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of people are um, trying to stay fit as yes. they age um, or they're trying to either, you know, like avoid uh, arthritic pain or they had like a hip replacement and they want to, you know, or they're going to have a hip replacement and they want to get strong before, or they're trying, you know, right. things like that, that they're trying to- Prehab um, type thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got gotcha. you, nice. So who is like your ideal client, the person who walks through the door, they're like, yes, let's go. This is gonna be so fun. <laughs> you know, I think it's, it, part of it has to be enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, there are people who, who do Pilates for years and they really don't have that enthusiasm. <laughs> even though they keep coming. I, right. mean, I love everybody, you know, but I love the enthusiasm. Like there's a, a man who started Pilates here years ago. He still comes and it, Ronald. Um, mm -hmm. He actually, I don't see him, but he, he takes lessons with Terry Ann, who's another teacher here. But mm -hmm. the day he walked in, I was like, this is perfect. So he just walked in and he was like, you know, my name is Ronald and I hate exercise. Oh, and I then love he looked people. around yeah. and he goes, but I think I'm going to like this. Yes. 
<laughs> I was like, yes. There you go. That's a win. Yeah. That's a W yeah. right there. It's like, you know, it's like the, how Joseph Pilates said, you know, contrology is complete coordination of the mind, body, and spirit. Yes. To me, the ideal client, like, gets that. You know, yes. it's like they, they feel it. They, they, they have an enthusiasm for it. They appreciate it. And it's all those things that is the mind, body, and spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, Absolutely. so that's my ideal client is somebody who, 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 who gets that concept and who is excited about it and responds mm -hmm. in that way. Yes. And yeah. I'm sure the ideal part of that is when they come to you with that, like you don't have to spark that within them. Yeah. Or it comes out like, like yeah. I'll just be teaching somebody, you know, their first session or something. And I won't, you know, they don't have an expectation because they've never done it before. And I just mm -hmm. met them. Yes. And afterwards they'll be like, that was amazing. And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> you know like that's the ideal for me i'm like yes like, I'm like, okay they get it or they look around and they're like curious about joseph pilates or yes. you know they're they're interested in or they walk up to the picture or poster and they, they ask questions about it mm -hmm. and it like sparks their interest yeah i like yes. people like that you know who share that enthusiasm right yeah, yeah. Um, I, it's so funny you say about those people who are like that. And I have every now and then when I was personal training, there'd be someone that didn't really like exercise, but they'd buy like 80 sessions and you'd just be locked into them forever. <laughs> and then you're like, when is this going to end? But they keep coming back. Right. And you're like, okay, it's Wednesday. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think the ideal person, like, like, like lets you in on their, yes. their you know, they, 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 they trust you and they, they share their um, observations with you. I love that. You know, I yeah. love when somebody will be like, wow, like that really reminds me of doing knee stretches on the reformer. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. I just, I just yes. love when, when they, they open up in that way and, and it's like this exchange, but that's, yes. that's really ideal. Yeah, I, I just wrote that down, like, lets you in. Like, when we get people yeah. to that place where it's almost like, I think I had Judith on when she was saying that aha moment. And then after a while, we start to chase after that aha moment with people when they just realize that, like, they can do an exercise that they've been working on for three or four weeks. Or they're, they're doing something. They're like, that's kind of like that machine when we did it over there. You're like, yes, it's the same thing. Yeah. Like, those moments, right? Those aha moments. Yeah. So those let you in moments too are, are really special. Totally. Yeah. Totally. When I feel like, um, I'm like, yeah, this is why I'm a teacher, you know, yes. it's exciting. And, and you feel mm -hmm. like you're learning at the same time. Which, which I, yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah and, and you've been teaching mm -hmm. for a while. Like I have been for a while. And when people see it, we're like, we're living it vicariously through them. Like they're seeing it for the first time, but we're seeing it through their eyes for that first time. So that's, that's really a special moment. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you're so rich in the, like Joseph Supplies history and all those different things. It's I I can imagine people taking classes with you and just you know like they're having those those moments and they're enjoying it and then after realizing how much you really know about this plotty stuff afterwards. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. You mean like my clients here at the studio? Yeah. 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 Yeah, you know, I, I share with them a lot. Like I tell them about, you know, what I'm doing. Um, you know, I have a lot of projects I, I work on with Sean Gallagher, mm -hmm. like our Pilates at the Pillow and our workshops and um, all the things that we do. And, and they ask about it. So I, I share with them, you know, like what I'm up to and what we're doing. And they get excited about it, too. So they, yeah. they like to about, you know, all the things that we're doing like that. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I definitely want to talk about Sean Gallagher and also want to talk about your daughter, Phoebe, and her, her storytelling. <laughs> Um, but like whenever I have, I've had Blossom on here a few times when she talked about Kathy Grant, but I still want to make it about the Blossom show or about the yeah, LA yeah. News show, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so, but let's talk about Phoebe. Like I, I, I just saw a few of the, the line, you know, the lives where she's sharing stories and exercise. Can you just talk about what is she's doing and how you guys came to that? Yeah, she, um, well, I have two daughters. One is Zoe. She's 11, but she's way too cool. So she <laughs> Not to have to do with it so she's not around but phoebe loves to come so when was this? a couple of weeks ago i had to record a class and i went home and i was going to come back and record it and she was like can i come with you and i was like okay so she came and she watched me you know teach to the screen and she was like 
can I, can you introduce me? Like, can I go in oh, with you and so do stuff? Cute. And I was like, um, you know, so I was like, maybe next time. So she like came over and found this book on the desk and she was like, you know, reading it. So somehow we came to the idea together that she could read from the book and do a little Instagram live. So she is just loving that. It's, it's a book, it's Corolla Trier's book for kids. Yes. So yeah, it's like perfect. Yeah. Right. She, she's yeah. Really, yeah. She's into it. She loves it. She's like, she, she's always liked like performing and, you know, because of COVID she had to end like her dance classes and things mm. like that. So I think it's her, her little outlet. It's her outlet. And, yeah, last night she was like, I love coming here because it's the only place I can go outside of the house and not wear a mask. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that's so true. Cheap. It's, I, we forget about that, right? Like we're in our world and trying to make our pivots with our business and stay connected and stuff. It's like, it's valid for them too, right? Like those moments of just having freedom, whatever that looks like is, it's yeah. so key. Totally, oh my gosh, yeah. 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 She loves that. Um, we're gonna do a class on Friday. No, not Friday, on Sunday. So okay. this is with, with Sean. So mm -hmm. it's he's been doing, well, we've been doing these um, monthly fundraisers for, okay. because you know how he owns Joseph Pilates and Clara's like um, property. property. So their, their little house that Joe called the bungalow. <clears throat> so he called it a bungalow, so we've been calling it that, but um, it has to be completely redone. Is it mm -hmm. just like totally dilapidated? Um, so we've been doing these monthly fundraisers. So on Sunday, this coming Sunday, Phoebe is going to join me and we're going to co-teach a little math class. Fun oh, fun. Class. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I think it might be at four o'clock on Eastern time, but I'm just going to have to double check on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, um, yeah, my, my son's getting into applies as well, but I could not pay them enough money to read on screen. I, <laughs> yeah, that would not, point blank, yeah. it's not going to happen. It just would not like happen. Zoe. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, no. I was like, okay, then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just a few comments here. So coach, uh, King's Coach Lewis just put, uh, send an email and I will donate right now. Um, just where, where would the link be? Actually, if you could just type in the little comment section or just a link to where, where they can find out more information about that. Or would it just be off? I wish I had one, but I don't because um, it's, it's like a, Sean has to post the, the link to it, but I can okay. probably will post today. But mm -hmm. if you look on his um, Instagram, it's Sean Gallagher three two six two. Okay. So that's that's his Instagram page, and he'll post um, a link to that class. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 Nice. Probably nice. today he will. Yeah. All right. Um, and I'll, so, I'll repost it. I'll repost. Yeah. It okay. Well. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So guys, we'll have that out for you um, for sure. I'll put it, um, all of your information in the like in the Instagram comment section as well. And then okay. later when this becomes a podcast down the road, I'll have all this stuff there as well. So awesome. Yeah, this event will be long gone, but I'm sure you'll have other projects on the go as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, and do you do a lot of work with kids and like young athletes as well? Or is it just, just a one off with your daughter who just enjoys no, it? No, I don't <laughs> at all. <laughs> I have, I, like, very rarely I'll have somebody be like, can my daughter come? Like she's into gymnastics and things yeah. like that. Um, but I wouldn't say that's like my forte or anything yeah <laughs> no <laughs> I mean, it's actually pretty challenging you know because they're small so you have to think <laughs> right. ahead yeah. you know, what can we do yes you know plus it's like they're developing and, and i just don't feel like i don't really teach kids very much but yeah you know maybe yeah. with that book yeah. you know it's not really pilates in that book it's like Movement. movements yeah so so yeah. that 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 fun yeah yeah it's so funny you know because i talk about you know like the different areas and niches and people that people go to like to work with and i always say i never like to work with like seniors or like that's just not my thing and then i look at my roster and i have all these super seniors like they're athletic guys who are 70 who did taekwondo and or judo and took it back up at the age of 70 or guys who play squash or and i'm like all these people on my roster are like are would be considered seniors but like in my head they're not seniors because i have in my perception of it like you know sedentary some 65 year old who's doing nothing and i have these guys who are like 70 71 72 who are still moving so i don't count them as seniors that's young that's young though you know that's I young. Have a, a woman who comes here she's so like spunky and mm -hmm. i i don't know she she had a question or whatever i pulled up her mind body online um profile yesterday and she's 80 i was like yes. wow <laughs> i 
I had no idea, <laughs> yes. you know? So yeah. I think, you know, I mean, age is like, you know, a number, right? It is totally a number. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually in my community class that I was teaching, uh, there was a lady who was coming to the class all the time that suggested some other exercises. And she's like, well, you know, I'm 80, so I have to kind of take it easy. And I was like, you're 80? And she's like, well, 79, but. Right. And, and I was like, you know how confident you need to be as a woman to round your age up? <laughs> That's right. Let alone say your age? Yeah. So uh, I was just like, okay, let's totally. go. Yeah. I, I love working with seniors. I do. I mean, you know, when, with that enthusiasm, the mind, body, spirit, that, that type mm -hmm. of enthusiasm. And when, I mean, I find it so fulfilling. I love it. Like, I love when they are finished and they say how much better they feel or they say yes. like how much they need to come and when they mm -hmm. want to add a day so that, you know, they can feel good throughout the week. It's like, I feel like to me, I'm like, wow, that's, that's like why I'm a teacher. That's, I, mean, I get yes. those moments where I'm like, this is great. Like, this is exactly like my purpose. Yes, <laughs> you know? absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's so affirming to, to get those uh, moments of like, that's why I do this. Totally. But you were ta and you were talking about like your studio itself and, you know, having it move and all these different things. How has it been for you? Like, have you had to make a lot of pivots with this quarantine? And I mean, it makes it difficult to find those moments of this is why I do what I do when the doors are closed and, you know, teaching yeah, virtually. It, right? that, that part has been hard, you know, because those people haven't been able to come, a lot of them, because they're right. still quarantining or, um, you know, whatever. But um, so I, I miss those those face-to-face -face moments with my, my – some people are coming back. I've opened very, very slowly. I see, like, one person a day or mm -hmm. so in person. Um, so that's been good. But, yeah, I've had – you know, I've changed, like, so much. I mean, other than going virtually, which yeah. is the complete opposite, you know, of what I had been doing. It was totally different. Um, I mean, you know, it's like the first day I knew that we were going to close. I knew that we were most likely going to be told we had to close, which is in March. And we got the announcement in the morning, you know, closed by 8 p.m. And like I went to the supermarket and I was like, oh, my God. And I had all my groceries and I went up to the cashier and I just started crying. You know, I was oh. like, what am I going to do? What am I going to yeah. do? You know, it was like so shocking. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. um, but then, you know, I have this, a great, I have three teachers who teach here and they're amazing. And yeah. uh, we just had like a Zoom meeting and we were like, this is what we're going to do. You know, we're going to go virtual with our classes and we're going to do it like right now. <laughs> so we <laughs> right. went on like the next day because like, you know, as the owner, right, it's like you're in this leadership role and yes. everybody looks to you and right. nobody is going to step in and be like, I got this for you. You know, it's like, you're the one. Who you're the one. It yeah. stops with you. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. like, I remember when my daughter Zoe was born and like, she cried <laughs> the first day I had her own. And I was like, who's going to step in and take care of things? And I was like, oh, me. <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, no, one, no one's going to be like, you know, you sit down. Like, I got it. Right. So it's the same thing, you know, when you have <laughs> totally. to take control. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I, you know, I think that, you know, we did as a team, my teachers here and I, and, um, you know, a week went by and I, so I was looking, you know, into the screen, everybody on the mat. And I was like, all right, we've got to get everybody off the floor. Mm -hmm. If this is going to like last, you know, yes. it's like, I'm not going to, they have to get up, you know, and I just couldn't mm -hmm. imagine months and months and months of mat. You know, trying right. to retain people. Mm -hmm. So I um, came up with this whole uh, rental equipment rental plan. Okay. And I, I still have um, most of, I still have maybe, mm, let's see, I had eight reformers before. Mm -hmm. I have four now here. So four are rented out. I think I have three one to chairs out. I have a whole bunch of barrels out. I have a bunch of equipment out. Yeah. So it's all being rented. Um, you know, I came up with a contract and then they take their virtual classes with me. Yeah. Um, and that's worked out great. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. So, so between renting equipment and, um, you know, the virtual classes and the teachers who are here with me, uh, I think we all, we all pulled it together pretty well. And so you know, smart. we're still going. Yeah. yeah. That's some good leadership, Elaine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's been great. it's been great. I mean, like I said, you know, I've I've uh, two teachers who come in once a week now to teach mm -hmm. a few people, 
I have about one person a day or so in person. So we, we opened again, like very little because I wasn't really sure if it was going to stay. True. You know, I, I didn't want to like bring everybody back in and then have to close in a couple of weeks. Just kidding. We're closed again. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I cannot handle that. I just need like consistency. And then, um, you know, but we've been open since September. So it's yeah. been, you know, pretty good, but just taking mm -hmm. it day by day. <laughs> There's some comments here, uh, people saying how much they love your virtual classes. Like Elaine oh, has great. done amazing job with the virtual classes. Uh, Elaine's virtual classes are some of my favorites. Uh, oh. Loved your virtual classes and one of the bonuses of COVID. No doubt, like that has got to be the bonus of this COVID time is the connections that we've made and the people that we've been able to learn from. Um, oh, I've had... I've had clients say that too, like how much like their experience of my teaching has improved because I'm learning from all these people all day and just even conversations like this. And it, it shifts my focus back to that mind body connection. And like, we just, we're all getting sharper as a result of these conversations. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I have clients who they're renting equipment and they're like, this is actually better because yes. now I have no excuse. Like I don't even have to, like, cause a lot of people around here, it's like a rural area. Yeah. So um, you might take half an hour or 45 minutes even. Some people drive one way Yes. You know, for a session. So that really adds up like two hours, three hours. Of Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and they're like, this is great. I, you know, it's, it's one hour and like, I have a reformer now at home, thanks to, you know, renting it. So mm -hmm. now I can just, you know, I, I can take class like one or two times a week instead of once a week and then sometimes missing it. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, people are, that's, they're more engaged, that's they're getting fitter, they're taking ownership of their work. That's, yeah. that's like a perfect will for us as teachers. Yeah, it is. And it's really Joe's vision, if you think about it. You know, yes. he wanted everybody to have equipment at home or mm -hmm. to be practicing the mat at home and to take responsibility for their workout yes. um, and to use his method to stay healthy. Right. And, like we're, we're watching it, you know, happen. So like he would say about being 50 years ahead of his time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He was. Yeah, and I've, I've heard that line of him being 50 years ahead of his time a lot. And a question that Benjamin uh, Durgenhardt had when he was on, one of the questions that kind of guides him is, what are people going to say about Pilates 100 years from now? Mm -hmm. And I like that question when it comes to the classical work and the work that you're doing and like, you know, you and Sean Gallagher and these readings and really diving deep on how an exercise was taught by him and like in all those different things so um can you just talk a little bit about that in terms of like your igs where you guys talk about an exercise like the swimming one i was just watching just recently and, and stuff like that and how that came about uh how our how our reading idea like to yes. do the reading about? yeah yeah it was pretty simple like we were just like it looks like there's this thing called instagram live that people are using like <laughs> let's come up with something to do with Instagram yes. live. <laughs> so, um, you know, we like to tie history in to all mm -hmm. the things that we do. And um, it just seemed like something that people could join in easily with, you know, with their copy of the book. And yes. we had a chance to talk about history and to, um, you know, converse and, and, and use it also as a teaching moment. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Like to like make our, um, all of our Instagram live things that we do about like enriching teachers um, knowledge and mm. enthusiasm and, and just sort of to get like um, conversations going with the other teachers. So it's been fun. Right. Very yeah. cool. How did you guys get connected? Like, is he, does he work at your studio or do you like work with him or is it just like on these projects that you guys? How, how, well, we started, let's see, he start. he taught a workshop at his studio. Um, okay. I think it was in 2013 okay. and I went mm -hmm. and it was called how authentic Pilates works. Okay. It was a lecture and he still teaches that um, once a year or twice a year or so. But, um, you know, during this lecture, I was like, he just had so many things he was saying where I was like, oh my God, <laughs> those are my aha moments. I was yes. like, whoa, like I've just never heard anybody describe Pilates this way or mm -hmm. even like explain how Pilates works in this way. Okay. So I just was so interested. Um, and then I invited him to my studio to teach a different workshop. Mm -hmm. And then um, I, I bridged uh, to his program. So I, I became certified with him. Okay. 
And, um, you know, after that, we sort of just, I started teaching at his studio in the city twice a week. Okay. Uh, which I haven't been there since March in the city at all. But, you know, I started teaching there and then we started, he started doing workshops here and then we started doing Pilates the Pillow. So it all just sort of like, yeah, you know, grew. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Any, any virtual like workshops, like what kind of projects are you guys working on now? We have a class every Monday night at five. It's called um, Contrology, the study of control. Mm -hmm. So we started that, um, gosh, I don't even remember. I think we have nine classes left right now. No, we have 10 more classes. So we started with the 100. What it is is like, I'll teach the return to life mat for about 40, 40 minutes or so. Yes. And then for the last 20, 15 to 20 minutes, he breaks down an exercise. We started with the 100. And now we're up to, um, gosh, I have to think where we're up to right now. <laughs> leg pull, the leg pull, I think. Is what okay. We're yeah. Um, so he, uh, he'll break it down because a lot of times what you hear of people say is, um, oh, you know, you can't teach the original mat work to people today. You know, people today can't do that. Like they have to do modified versions because, mm. um, you know, we're more uh, sedentary or we're, we sit at desks more. We can't do those movements anymore. <laughs> or, yes. um, you know, oh, you need to modify. Um, and you do you need to modify it sometimes for people. Mm -hmm. But um, what happens will be that a lot of times what teachers will just always modify and never progress and your never, client all the way yes. to the final. Yeah. Right. So what he does in that last 15 minutes is he'll break down the exercise to, to show how you can teach it um, and how you can work up to being able to teach your clients to do the full exercise. So he'll mm -hmm. do like a little analysis and, and everybody practices, you know, as he, as he cues what to do. That sounds great. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a great yeah. workout. And then, you know, it's for learning. Yeah. And yeah, and Carola Pilates says Sean and Elena are a great team. Sean has so much knowledge. And before that, Angela was saying here that it is an awesome class. Great. Yeah. And, you know, and I'm sure it is an awesome class because like, we've talked about this a lot here in Core Conversations, the fact that we get comfortable with the exercises that we teach and we get comfortable with the exercises that we practice as well. So we get to a place where we do the exercise that we're good at. We do a few exercises that we're working on, but we don't really make ourselves uncomfortable with the work in progressing it. Right. You know, so. Yeah. Especially when you're on your own. When you're on your own. Yeah. Yeah, in your own studio by yourself, you're like, yeah, I'm not going to do rocking today right. or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, no one saw me not do it, so sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, yes, yeah. so we do all of them. We do the whole return to life sequence every Monday. Amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we're up on 38 minutes already. I know that you got to get going, but uh, one of the questions I always ask people is like, what is your kind of your message for your people in terms of like clients are coming in or just like your virtual class um, population as well during this time? Mm, that's a, that's a hard one. <laughs> I know, but you're a pro though. I'm sure you can uh, come up with something. I mean, I think that like, I, I think that we're all doing a great job, honestly. I mean, you know, in the practice and in the teaching and in the curiosity, um, I think that a message that we should all keep in our mind is, is to keep that excitement and curiosity and positivity because it's really challenging, I think, really is mentally mm -hmm. uh, right now, you know, worldwide to, to stay positive um, and to uh, keep, keep curious and not start to let your head go, you know, into yes. like worry and, and fear because it's very easy to go there. You know, I mean, there's just Absolutely. so much going on where, you know, it, you can just totally get lost in that and, and lose your focus. Yes. Um, yeah, so I think if we could all just keep our, um, the, the strength behind our, our curiosity and positivity that mm. it'll get through, you know, till this is all over, whenever yeah. that is. Yes, absolutely, love that. Yeah. And I love, and that really does tie into what you are saying earlier about being a leader, whether it's as a parent or as a studio owner, we have to cultivate that in those around us and, and recognize that as teachers, that people are, might be looking to us for our strength. Totally. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, sure. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like with your clientele, it's like they will believe, right? What you teach them. 
Yes. You know, if, if you come in, if they walk in and you're like, you know, you know, you'll get stronger. Um, this is good for you. Right. Yes. Like yes. this, this exercise is what you need. You know, that type of thing that they believe you, right. Mm -hmm. Cause they're, they're looking to you for your, for, for what to do. Right. right. That's what yeah. So it's the same thing. I think, you know, uh, for, for all of us as teachers is to, to keep that positivity and that will in turn, the person who's looking to you will, will, will follow that. Right. 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 How positive as a group, as a community. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'll probably run with that soundbite over the next couple days just mm -hmm. to ask the question, how? Because everyone's going to have a different how for that, right? How to, how to remain positive and how curious. How to remain positive and curious. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like everybody's going to have a different answer, like you said, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's, it's like what you were saying right now when we have the opportunity. This is also opportunity, right, to study with different teachers who you may not have had access to. Yes. Um, to like to there's so much in Instagram live um, great stuff going on Instagram live that you can just tune into you know anytime right, right. Yeah. Um, things that have been saved um, and you know in the community uh, like in the forums and things like that just to stay connected with people I think those things go a long way absolutely yeah yeah so good yeah. Um, can we do this again sometime yeah totally <laughs> this is so fun <laughs> All right, Elaine. Well, I really appreciate your time today. And I know that um, we just have to be very sensitive to the time. So the time we've had was just so rich. And I thank you for, uh, for just sharing with me today. It's really good. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It was really great. You're so awesome. easy to talk to. Well, good. Well, yeah. And so were you. <laughs> Made it light work for sure. <laughs> okay, cool. thanks. I'm going to sign you off. I really appreciate your time today. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, bye, everybody.